Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm actually in the guest bedroom because this is where we keep our uh, suitcases because I am going to start packing for our Europe trip. This might not be a method that works for everyone, but if you love being super organized and keeping track of everything, I feel like this might be something that might resonate with you. But again, totally understand that it's not for everyone. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I'm going somewhere is just map out where I wanna go visit. And so in this particular example, I have Paris mapped out. And what I do is I just create a Google My Map and literally all you have to do is Google, Google My Maps. So you just search for Google My Maps and then you click on it. And then once you have that, you can create a new map here. So you can see I have Paris and I have Madrid. Those are the two places that I'm visiting and so um, obviously like I wanted to have a map of Madrid and Paris just to figure out where I wanted to go in this particular example Like I said, I wanted to talk about Paris And so once you create a new map you just search for places and you can add them so that you can look for them at any time So if I had another place that I wanted to go to like for example the Arc de Triomphe Obviously like that is a historical place that we want to go explore. I already have it marked but just for, you know, sake of it, I'm just gonna select actually Pyramid here and this is one of the Macaron places that I wanna go visit. So we have Pyramid right here and you'll literally just have to click add to map and then you get to customize wherever you want. So I have it color coded so that restaurants are in this red orange-ish tone and then cafes and pastries are in purple. So Pyramid, for example, would go in purple just because of pastries and I have stores and I have exploring. I even have an Emily in Paris list because I definitely want to explore some of Emily in Paris locations. And so I have everything here. And the advantage of having this is that when you zoom out, you are able to see actually the majority of the places that you want to go visit. So as you can tell, pretty much everything that I want is right there, which I mean, it looks pretty spread out and it kind of is, but also Paris from my understanding and from the mapping that I've done in terms of distance is not that big. So it is possible to be able to walk around this and just find out, you know, okay, on this day, I'm going to be around this area. So I'm going to try to get X, Y, Z done because I'm going to be right there. So for example, if I'm going to be hanging around the Eiffel Tower, which is around here, then I can see like, okay, what other locations do I have near the Eiffel Tower that I want to go visit? And I can then plan for things around there. Works the same for any other area. Anyway, I love using this feature of Google Maps and I highly, highly recommend it because it makes it so easy to just explore things. And you know, also if you don't know yet where you're staying, but you can see around the things that you wanna go visit and that you wanna go do, then you can find a hotel near that area that's going to make it even easier for you. Okay, now once you've done the Google My Maps comes some really fun part, well, in my opinion. I basically grab all those things that I wanna do and I look at it from location, like I said, so you wanna find you know what is close to each other so that you can get that done around the same time or at least like the same day. And so what I do is I create a note on my phone with the itinerary. And so you can see a whole list of things that I have planned to do. And it's basically just based on distance. So I like to write it out as, you know, I land at this time, I do this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and now because again, like I said, I'm very type A. Once you've got, you know, the places that you wanna go visit and then you put it into an itinerary, comes the outfits. So I don't like to travel not knowing what I'm gonna wear. I like to know exactly what kind of outfits I can pair when obviously being a little bit flexible and understanding that the weather might change last minute things like that happen but bottom line is i like to plan my outfit so that when i'm there i'm not just worrying about like does this look good does this fit it's you know whatever so i like to try everything on put together some outfits take some photos and then i assign it to different days so what i'm about to show i'm gonna lie i have shown it to a couple of friends and they're all like what <laughs> so i'm about to show you really how type a i am anyway i take photos and then i put the outfits in another notes on my app on my iphone and i just style it you know i'm like okay on this day during the day i'm wearing this and then at like night or afternoon whatever i'm wearing this and then the next day i'm wearing this and then followed by this in the evening for dinners and i just kind of go at it like this where i'm planning all my outfits and i'm like okay this definitely feels like it's something that's going to work for that day if i know it's a day where i'm going to be walking a lot or going to be spending some time outside i want to make sure that i'm super comfortable if i'm going somewhere that has a specific dress code i want to make sure that i'm you know meeting that and so i just i'm able to plan a lot of things and then i'm able to say like okay this day i'm doing xyz i know i'm gonna be like i said like walking all day around a garden or something like that i want to be super comfortable so i wear this outfit anyway a lot goes in this brain of mine and i like to plan ahead and be super prepared anyway we've got a google map so that we know exactly where we're going to be at 
the areas that we're gonna be spending our time in, you know, all that kind of stuff. Then we put together an itinerary. I put it again on my iPhone apps note, but you can do it wherever you want or notes app, but you can do it wherever it's easier. I just like to keep it there because I'm gonna have my phone on me so I know exactly what's going on at all times. And then we put together our outfits because we wanna be prepared. And no, I do not know how to pack lightly, even though the whole concept of this is also to help you create like a capsule wardrobe so you can fly with, I don't know, say 10 items that you can repurpose multiple times, 10 items that might actually be a lot. But anyway, that is one of the great things about trying on outfits before is you can create a capsule wardrobe if that's, if that's something that you're good at. And then once you have those outfits, I just put them aside, like I set them aside before packing and everything. So I have, for example, like here, two different outfits with the same pants. And then I have here uh, pants and like a bodysuit. And so I just try to keep them apart in the outfits themselves that I've taken the photos in. And I'm like, okay, I know this is one outfit, this is one. So that when I'm actually packing it together, I keep things as together as possible and also based on the days that I've assigned things to, I try to pack things, you know, like what I'm going to use first tries to go at the top so that I can see it right away and I have access to it immediately and I'm not scrambling through my suitcase to find it. Anyway, I will see you next time when I'm packing, which will literally be just like a second for you, but it will definitely be a couple days for me. Okay, so as mentioned, I have laid out all of the clothes because I plan all my packing. So you see over there at the end, those are like blazers, jackets type of thing. Then we move on to the dresses right there. And then this is all the clothes that I'd be wearing. And I have it listed out from like the things that I'll need first all the way to like the end or the things that I'll need last. So I know once I start packing what it is that I need and you know, the order and stuff. And then we've got the shoes right there too. So one thing I'm gonna do is put an air tag in the luggage. I just put like literally in like one of these little baggies just to protect it. But I'm gonna put it in the check bag or like what will be the check bag so that we don't lose it. Like we know where it is at all times just because I've heard so many crazy stories lately so i don't want to take any chances So in order to maximize space, I'm just going to basically use my boots to store the socks in them. So I just like to roll them and then just insert them. The other nice thing about it is that it also helps the boots keep the shape. So that's another really good thing about it. You know, along the same lines of trying to save space, obviously boots take up quite a bit of space, especially long boots. But I figured that I can actually put these shoes in there because they fit perfectly. And so I literally just stuff it inside the boots because again they fit so why not take advantage of that and maximize my space and then i can zip the boots and i have two shoes in one something else that i recommend having is a jewelry case so i have this one where i literally just stuff my jewelry in here i pack it up and then if you pull this thing down I put the necklaces in there so i like this because it keeps my jewelry organized and protected and everything and so i just put everything in this little box and i take it with me and i wanted to share this backpack that i got from amazon because it has so much storage i'm super excited actually because i have a bunch of like tote bags but they're just nice they don't really fit that much they're not very practical but this one has a bunch of different pockets so it has this front pocket right here it has another one up here and then it has this one in here which like goes all the way in then there's the middle one which is super spacious i'm super excited about this because it literally fully opens and then you can fit whatever you need here and then even more like pockets in here so you can store some stuff just keep it safe and all that kind of stuff then there's another pocket in the back and then the back of it has another pocket back in here which is super safe because obviously when you're wearing the backpack this is gonna be covered by your back and so extra safe no chance of anything it has a little thing here so that you can charge your phone if you want to right there i'll give you a better glimpse because i don't know if you saw anything so there it is on the side here you can put your water bottle and then at the bottom there is storage for the shoes so you can actually unzip this one and then here it is so you can put in your shoes in there there's so much storage here i'm super excited because i feel like i finally have a practical backpack that i can travel with and i can use this as my personal item but still fit in quite a few stuff so i'm excited
Okay, and so for the last minute stuff, you know, the things that I can't pack until the very end, like some toiletries and stuff like that, and chargers and whatnot, I basically just created a list in my iPhone notes app, which basically is what I use for everything. And so I create a list there, and then just based on that, I just, you know, keep track of everything and make sure that before we leave, I have everything packed and I'm not missing anything. So I'll just look it through and be like, okay, I packed this, I packed this, I packed that. This is what I'm missing. And I go through it a couple times. I even like read it out loud to Chris and I'm like, am I missing something? Cause I need to make sure that I go through this a million times to make sure I don't miss anything. But yeah, I'll put together like the list with just like the final things that are pending. And then there, these are things that I probably, I don't pack up until like literally I'm about to leave. It's just like my little way of making sure that I'm not missing anything and that I can, you know, just be chill about it because I don't have to think about what am I forgetting? Cause I write everything down. So I know like in my mind, like I'm not gonna forget it. I don't have to like think about it because I have it written down. Anyway, those are some of my packing tips, my, you know, experience with planning the trip so that you can fit in everything that you want, how to stay super organized when planning a trip and packing your suitcases and all that kind of stuff. So I hope all of these tips helped. I know, like I said from the very beginning, not all of these tips will be useful for everybody because not everybody is as extremely organized as me. I like, I don't even know how else to describe it other than that, like I'm just very much a perfectionist and I need everything to be pretty well put together. Anyway, if you have any questions on any of my methods for packing and planning trips, please leave them in the comment section. If you have any tips or, you know, anything else that you want to share about how you plan your trips or pack or anything like that, also open to hearing any of that in the comment section. Other than that, I hope you really enjoyed it and stay tuned for the actual trip video so you can see everything in Madrid, Paris, Poland, and just experience it with me. Anywho, if you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.